Are you kidding me, Africa? I love this song. I couldn't have asked for a better song to be representing me and when I was born. Thank you, Toto, for everything you've done. <laughs>So what do you remember about the day you were born? Not a whole lot. <laughs> I know I was there, but there wasn't there. <laughs> we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and show you some things that were going on on that special day. On that day? On the day you were born. What? Okay, let's do it, I'm so excited. So to start off, we're gonna show you a trailer of the biggest movie released the week you were born. Okay. I hope it's a movie I know, otherwise this is gonna be really disappointing. <laughs> you know the accident up there? Yeah. A lady, she broke her neck. Oh my god, where is she? Standing next to my- Wait, mom. this the week I was born? <laughs> I see dead people walking around. I always felt like this whole movie, like, it's not bless her, because she's just whispering. I think they know that you're <laughs> It's a blessing. Oh, no! Four stars. <laughs> wow. I'm working on it. <laughs> wow, that's actually kind of cool because like horror is my favorite genre. So I feel it's, you know what? It kind of fits my birthday week. Sarah. <gasps> really? Sarah. What? They're taking a bow. If you change your mind at the altar, just pass out. To live together in perfect. How cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's so crazy. 20th century <gasps> Wait, I want to go back and rewatch this. This is so funny. I love it. Ashton Kutcher. I just need to talk. Back when like rom coms were actually funny and romantic. <laughs> just married. Wow. That's insane. Like I feel old. Like that's not even possible. And I feel old. Most daring film of the year. Okay. Hey, one of my favorite people. Bella Lugosi. The world is shocked. Wow. World shocked by sex change. He learned that foreign doctors were doing marvelous work with a sex change. Man to woman, well. woman to man. Sizzling. <laughs> so they're, they're making it very salacious. You know, it's like, ah, this is something shocking. And, you know, you can't believe this. And what terrible things must be going on in the minds of people. Hush, hush subject. Setting the mindset for this being something that isn't out in the open, even though they're making a movie. Glenn or Glenda? You mean we haven't gotten ourselves straightened out uh, on this subject in 67 years? You know, it's like, really? <laughs> Why would anybody- My God, I love this already, just because the quality. Sure. Hit the VCR, yeah, I think there's a problem. Oh, there we go. What is happening right now? <laughs> The victim. James Woods? He has been exposed to video drove. How old is he? He looks a little older in this. <laughs> Soon, his visions will coalesce and become uncontrollable flesh. What is happening? Long live the new flesh. I want to know how many people like watched this trailer and were like, oh, I have to see this. It's so good. Video drove. Video drove. Deborah Harry and James Woods. A shocking new vision from the creator of Scanners. Coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> what? Universal Pictures. Oh, Universal. Well, I mean, it was a big, big uh, studio. That reminded me of Poltergeist. See, like, especially with all that TV screen and the fuzzy, whatever. I mean, I hated those movies, so I never watched them anyways. But that seems kind of like it fits in with that, um, that, like, era. Now we're actually going to show you the top song of the week you were born. Okay, I'm excited. It was that last year in the 90s, so uh, hopefully it's something good. <laughs> No way! This is the best! And it's... It's my song, guys. It's my song. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Africa? I love this song. I couldn't have asked for a better song to be representing me and when I was born. Thank you, Toto, for everything you've done. <laughs> Christina! I love Christina Aguilera. <gasps> wow. That was when I was born? That's so weird. I don't know why I felt like that was a little bit after I was born. It's a timeless song. It's one that everyone knows, especially all the ladies. We love it. <laughs> Whose version was this? Uh, that was actually Jimmy Boyd's version. Okay, I remember that song quite well. Um, and I, I mean, when I say quite well, I remember the, the song sound. And it wasn't something that I played much, but I do remember hearing it. What? 
This was 16 years ago. I'm 17. This was 17 years ago. <laughs> What? That's so crazy. Number one song of the week. Well, Eminem knew, like, he's like, oh, I gotta make a song for Rachel. So when she's on Teens React 17 years from now, we could play my iconic song. This is so cool. I love this. Let's keep doing it. Up next, you're gonna guess prices of certain items on the day you were born compared to the prices that they are now. Oh, gosh. Okay. The price is right. Oh, my gosh. Have you seen that show? Oh, okay. First up is gas prices. Okay. The current cost of gas is two forty seven. dollars Okay. I know that now it is a lot higher than what it used to be. Cause my dad was like, oh, back in the day, you know, like it used to be way cheaper. And I remember even when I was a, a teenager, when I first started driving, there was times that you could get gas for like 99 cents a gallon. I mean, I'm not that old people, like, come on. <laughs> How expensive do you think it was when you were born? 19 cents. You know, I'll go with like a safe $2. 75 cents a gallon. Okay, if it's 2.47 now, I'm like cheap, like it was cheap. Like, under a dollar, I'd say it's like, 80 cents. So the cost of gas when you were born was actually? A dollar 17? That's so low. That almost hurts my feelings. <laughs> That's, it hasn't gone up as much as I thought it would have or like, you know, fluctuated until, I feel like in the last couple of years, we've really seen a spike in it. All right, okay, it's not 80 cents, but okay. You know, that's a warm up actually, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not showing you my complete abilities yet. 27, okay. When I look at the price of cars and the price of gas. It wasn't such a major expense in your household as it is now. It's just uncanny how large of a segment of your income is dedicated to that. So next up, you'll take a guess on the median cost of a home in the US. Oh, boy, this has skyrocketed. <laughs> the current median in the US right now is $226,800. Okay. How expensive do you think it was on the day you were born? Mm, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go 150. 150, I'm really bad at things like this. Like I'm not sure how much houses are supposed to cost. <laughs> 180K. Post war, uh, there was a lot of discounting of properties so that the, the uh, GIs and families and everything could get them. Maybe around 6,000. Let's see what it was. Stop it. <laughs> 73,800, that's insane. Wow. You know who did that? I did that. Wow! 154, okay. Okay, I just feel like the market does this a lot, so it's, it's hard to predict things like that. It's hard to predict like what it's gonna be like in the next 10 years, so. The way they were financed then, and the way that people bought these houses was a lot different. And you didn't have to have uh, such, again, a large amount of your income set on that cost. So finally, you're gonna have to take a guess at the average price of a movie ticket. Oh gosh. The average cost in the US for a movie ticket today is 937. How much do you think it was on the day you were born? On the day I was born, okay, six, 80, Seven. Maybe a dime. Let's go five seventy-five. Gosh, I feel like they were super cheap back then. I'm going Price is Right. One dollar, Bob or Drew, whichever one you are today. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what it was. Damn, even cheaper. Forty-eight. Hmm. Oh. Okay, it's a little more expensive than I thought. <laughs> when I was a kid growing up you could find theaters that were playing. It was like dollar matinees, you know, or those cheap movies during the day. What? Oh my gosh, I'm surprised I even got the, like, the first number right. I don't really care about the cents. I don't really go out to watch movies. I just kind of stay at home. So I am surprised. To end this episode, you'll be taking a look at a cover of Time Magazine that came out around your birthday. So you can take a look at what big story was being talked about around that time. Oh, okay, cool. How mind can heal your body. New ways to beat the blues. The link between mental and physical health. Is happiness in your genes? I say like the 2000s until now, they really started pushing to talk about, you know, we could talk about your mental health. We could talk about depression. So I could totally see why this was like, kind of like weary back in the day, but like now this is why, like we are so comfortable talking about it. Hmm, okay. I guess I would have to be intrigued enough to read what the heck they meant by that. So this man on the front on the cover, his name is Francis Henry Taylor. Taylor okay. was the distinguished museum director and curator heading the Metropolitan Museum of Art for 15 years beginning in 1940. What I like about it is that it does point to a person that has 
actually done something. I think a lot of times now we get, especially in, in music and entertainment, we get a lot of people that wind up getting a lot of attention for doing practically nothing. The Blair Witch Project, okay. So there's like a horror theme going on, <laughs> which I like, you know, and it explains a lot about me. It's just like one of those movies that it was, the way they did it was so different from every other type of horror movie or movie in general, it kind of made like a big wave. Okay, so we have ABC's Gigantic Gamble, Robert Mitchum in The Winds of War. I've seen Robert Mitchum in movies and stuff, but I've never heard of The Winds of War. On February 6, 1983, the day you were born actually, ABC premiered a $40 million six-part miniseries, which at the time was considered a huge gamble by many people, called The Winds of War. The miniseries actually takes place from 1939 to 1941, and much of the story within the show is devoted to telling major global events of this period in time, including Hitler and his German general staff. Um, what, it's funny that you're, like, you give me that description. I wanna watch it now. That's like a really cool time to like look back. And I love watching stuff about that, it's so cool. Um, so that's kind of, it already kind of fits. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so finally, Michaela, after showing you multiple mediums that allowed us to take a look back into your past, What's one of the earliest memories you had in your life? I think pop culture, my like first memory was, I think I was, I was like three or four. And I went to go see Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, <laughs> the animated horse movie. <laughs> and that just was one of those things that helped shape my childhood. The earliest was my mother found two tricks to keep me relaxed in sleeping when I was a child. And one of them was to fold up a newspaper and to a space that I could hold it, and she would put it in front of me, I'd grab it, hold it, and stare at it, and just stare at all the stuff. The other was is that she had an old record player that was on the headboard, and she would put a stack of records on there, and said it was almost like clicking a switch. I'd put the song on, and you would, and, that, and you'd stay there. This is gonna sound really gross and weird, but it's like the only thing that I can think of of like when I was super, super young, like I remember being in a playpen, like holding on to the edge, kind of barely like standing, you know? And like I have like weird memories of me crying because it felt like I had pooped my pants. And me, my dad and my mom, we all went to a hotel together to like stay overnight. Me and my dad were like in the lobby and we were playing with like a red ball. I was looking for the red ball and my dad like turned away and I saw the emergency fire hazard alarm. And I thought that was the red ball and I hit it. And then everyone was so bad. I remember this one lady, she's looking at me, she's like, ah, I was sleeping. I was like, I'm so sorry. That's the earliest memory I have of my childhood. Uh, me scaring a whole hotel of people at three in the morning and it was a sight to see. Hey everybody, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys wanna help support the channel and look good doing it, go to shopfbe.com where we have some awesome merch for you guys. See you guys there, bye.